Okay, friends and golfers, we're going to take a look. My name is Eric Schilber at EJS Golf, EJSGolf.com. Take a look at a student here that really is struggling with his head going towards the target. Um, you know, obviously his chest is and lower body. He just really slides big time. Um, you know, one of the biggest I've ever seen. Um, you know, he started doing it when he was young as a way to generate power and um, still holding on to it. A guy's six seven, he doesn't need any more, right? <laughs> So we're going to take a look at, you know, where he's gotten to with this and, and the differences. So, you know, one of the ways, you know, in my teaching, I'm looking at things is I'm engineering impact is what I'm looking at. How do we get a good impact? Okay. So everything I'm doing in a lesson, whether it's working on takeaway or whatever, ultimately for me, I, I'm trying to build that to help impact out. So in my mind, if you're whipping it inside on, on the takeaway or something and that's causing impact issues, then we're going to fix it because of that. But if you're doing something and coming a little bit inside and I don't think it's causing your impact issues, I'm not going to change it. So I don't have a one way it has to be, but I also have certain ways I look at things and say, okay, it, is this an imperative or is it not? And to me, it's an imperative that we have good impact. Okay. And question is how do we get there so I look at this and I'm going huh okay so I look at impact of him and his hands aren't in good position he's kind of not real strong with the club face coming through um, and I can tell that a lot by um, you know trackman numbers and uh, with launch angles and stuff like that so but in other other ways but I just want to look at um, this and kind of show you something here so if we look at him here, and this is from the top, the right side is the old him. Okay, let's do that again. Let's start over. Okay, so see, we're starting with that right on them. Now watch the right side, the old. Look at that lean forward. He gets to about middle of his cap. Now, this is where he's at today. Look at his cap. Front side of it, looking coming off of it. Now I want to show you like impact differences. Look at now the club's already gone here. If I can move him back, his impact is here. I kind of off that leg. Now if I let this go forward, think about where I'd be. It would be up here. And if we want to really get down to this and look at it, one of the reasons we're changing this is we have impact 14 degrees. That's, if I go right along there, it's about eight. So you got eight degrees for 14 off the back leg or here. So, and just look at the better structure he has. So um, we've been working on this a lot of different ways. Um, a lot of different drills. Um, some of them have been heels together, toes apart drills. Um, just having you work around one axis and understanding that. Uh, doing freezers where he's really concentrating on, I got to keep everything closed and just start with my hands. So for him, he feels a big source of power when he starts the downswing as these hips flying out of there. And that's like, okay, that's my engine for power. And that's why typically when somebody has something like that, that it's hard to change this, okay? Because um, they feel weak when you're doing it, okay? But, and he's already, you know, his numbers aren't, you can just tell, aren't weak when he does them, like heels together, toes apart drill. So... In the end, when you have this 14 degrees lean versus eight, guess what that's doing? Delocking the club, he's going to have even more distance eventually. I mean, he swings the driver at 120 plus, so it's going to really help him on when he goes full speed. And obviously here, he's not even close to it. So folks, uh, I appreciate you watching. Leave a comment below if you have one, uh, if you'd like to. I would appreciate it if you do. Um, otherwise, uh, like it and subscribe. And... Um, Thank you for watching. Eric Silver, EJS Golf, EJSGolf.com.